tracing the acid flow. Packet input pointer points to the packet received over the wire, which would eventually be written into the mem copy source by SMB2 extract. Eventually, the buffer specified from the attacker controlled packet will be written to the WC share path variable, which resides on the stack. The WC share path variable is of a fixed size. The attacker can specify any size specify any data to write to a fixed sized buffer on the stack. This is the standard definition of the stack buffer overflow. How was this fixed? Well, we don't have all the code, but it was basically fixed by limiting the number of characters that can be copied into the into WC share path. 